I'm Jessica Gaddithin. This is your Friday evening KRQE.com webcast. We start with the storm. Here's Mark Ronchetti. Yeah, the storm is on the way, Jess, but not until the next, say, 36 hours or so. We've got a little gap in there. Then coming up early on Sunday morning, that's when everything gets going. So for tomorrow, still going to be pretty nice, slightly cooler. Storm drops into New Mexico early Sunday with a couple of cold fronts that start the snow off. And then as the low passes through, that moisture will ride up the mountains and dump snow, especially along the east slopes of the East Mountains and of the northern mountains. That's where we're going to see most of our snow accumulations. Possibility of six plus inches in some of these areas here in the metro. Likely to see the possibility of some light snow, gusty winds, and very cold temperatures. APS says it's ready for whatever the storm might bring. The district put their snow watch program in effect today. The people in that program help decide if school will be delayed or canceled after a storm. They also clear school campuses if school is in session. APS officials say the process starts at 2.30 in the morning. They consult road crews, the weather service, police, and even check the roads themselves before making a call. It's a tricky process, and they say they can't make everybody happy with their decisions. Now, as you know, the weather can change just like that in Albuquerque, and so those are all the things that we have to put together. There are four snow days for APS this year, two before Memorial Day, two at the end of the year. The East Mountain schools have more. A wounded deer was found running through an Albuquerque neighborhood this morning. The two-year-old buck was first spotted dashing in and out of traffic near Eubank and Central at around 730. It wound up in a fenced-in area. Animal control tried capturing it with a snare pole, but they eventually called in game and fish for help. It was then tranquilized. Game and fish says the deer had lost a toe. And officials saw that it may that may be why it came into the city. They were able to help him and then returned it back to the mountains. Join us for more news tonight at 10.